welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. There are different objectives of design of experiment. Let us see the first objective that is screening. In the screening objective of uh, design of experiments, we examine the main effects of generally 6 to 15 factors to identify critical factors that have the greatest influence on the response. Sometimes you may be unaware of what are the key driving factors for the particular response. For example, low yield of the certain product may have different factors. Let us see an example. Since I have also an exposure and experience in research and development in the pharmaceutical industry, here I have taken example of a pharmaceutical company process. It is a tablet manufacturing process. Now there can be many reasons for the harness of the tablet. I am trying to make the harness of a certain parameter. If the tablet is very very hard, then it will affect the breaking of the tablets inside the stomach which is called disintegration or it being in the solution form. So when a tablet has to be absorbed it uh, has to be disintegrated and it has to be in the solution form. There are different factors responsible for a single response that is harness of the tablet. The factors may be size of the granule or powder which the tablet is made up of density of the granule, ratio of the small and large granules, mixing time, granulation time. Similarly, there may be mechanical or tooling factors as well. For example, speed of the tableting machine or tablet producing machine, flow rate from the hopper, etc. So the first objective of a design of experiment is screening the factors. There are various factors involved. So in this case, we should be sticking to the objective one of design of experiment because there are more than six factors which are responsible for the response or the hardness of the tablet. I have taken the term factor and response a lot of time by now. Factors are those variables that create a response. For example, size of granule may affect the hardness of the tablet or the response. And also there are other factors, total of 11 factors here, including density, mixing time, granulation time, and many other factors as well. The factors may be controllable or non-controllable. Controllable factors are those factors which we can control. For example, in this example here, maybe we can control the mixing time, but we may not be able to control the density of the granule or the size of granule. So these may be the uncontrollable factors if we can't control and the, those factors which we can control is the controllable factors. Now the response is the final effect that the factors bring into the effect. So these factors are affecting the hardness of the tablet. So these factors may increase the hardness or may decrease the hardness. Now we are going to design the experiments using the Minitab 19 and the process is exactly similar in other versions of Minitab as well. For that we go to the stat and we go to the design of experiment. Since this is a screening design, screening design means we do not yet know which factors are more responsible or which factors should be taken that affect the response or in this case harness of the tablet. So after clicking the screening, we should click the create the screening design. Now we have uh, two options here, definitive screening and placket Bormann screening. You can know about these two types of design in detail by clicking the help tab. So here we have two options here, definitive screening and placket Bormann. Okay, let's choose the placket Bormann screening. In fact, this experiment is uh, good for both definitive screening and placket Bormann screening. So how many factors do we have? We have 11 number of factors. So from the drop down menu, we select the 11. Before moving further, I want to stress a particular thing here. We can click the display available designs here with the resolution. Here it says available factorial design with the resolution. We have 11 number of factors. So run means doing the experiment. 
we have 11 number of factors so in order to screen we have to do the experiment 128 number of times given by the green signal here the yellow color shows that so we can also do 32 types of experiments or 64 types of experiment but if we do the experiment only 16 number of times then probably there is for 11 number of factors there is a chance of error so for factor 8 to 11 the number of runs works based at 12 20 24 and 48 the higher the number of run the better is the experiment suppose we want to do experiment 32 number of times although it is not quite yet perfect for the sake of simplicity we can choose the number of runs anywhere close by suppose we took 36 now if we choose replicate we means that for each experiment we can repeat it one time okay let's select one time and block on replicates then after clicking these numbers are generated in different worksheet now if you conduct the similar experiment in a mini tab 2017 version you can see this kind of window there are different uh, kinds of design general full factory design flagged Berman design and other kinds of design in the similar way you can select the number of factors the same window available designs can also be looked in this tab if i select the 38 number of runs and if i conduct the experiment now what does this a b c d e f z a z k l means this simply means the factors which are written over here so factor a means it is the size of the granule and b means it is density of the granule similarly there are 11 number of factors here so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 number of factors here we can also name these factors with their respective name instead of a b c d e etc for that we can go to the screening design create screening design and go to the factors and instead of the a we can write the size then density so for all the factors abcd i have changed the factor name as abcd to the real name size density ratio of granules and mixing time etc so these are all the numeric types of factors if we have a text factor we can also select that these are all the numeric uh, terms we can also select between the high and low minus one here denotes the lowest value or the lowest size that we observe lowest size of the granule and one means the highest size of the granule similarly a ratio of the size means lowest ratio to highest ratio mixing time lowest mixing time to highest mixing time lowest granulation time to highest granulation time instead of minus one and one you can also write the sizes if you know for example if size is between say 100 micron to 1000 micron i can write that data here for is i'll only write from minus one to one meaning from the lowest size to the highest size of the measurement let's click ok so i've changed the name here density ratio of size size so first of all one thing to understand is that for screening purpose i have to take the 36 number of runs here that means in the first experiment i have to take maximum size granules with the minimum density minimum ratio of size i have to tumble that i have to mix that for maximum time but the granulation time must be lowest moisture should be lowest it should be highly adhesive with the maximum force but with lowest speed so in this way i have to conduct 36 number of experiments before ending this lecture let me remind you to join my lean university's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my lean university's online library and get tons of free courses free books and lecture topics on project management lean and six sigma operations and supply chain productive and preventive maintenance quality maintenance data science industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. 
as we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.